Hello, testing, testing. One, two, three. All right, so listen, I'm not gonna flex. I really didn't want to do this. What if? But homeboy was telling me like, uh, put your name down in the comment because you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, I think his name was like King Star something, but I think he was suggesting this. Um, sorry about the. No, I don't think y'all really care about that. Y'all just want the content. But um. Um, I'm walking outside. I can throw out like part ones and part twos of videos when I'm not at home with my notepad. But anywho, um, homeboy was telling me that uh, he wanted um, what if Deku had the Sonic abilities and shit, right? And I don't really like Sonic, right? But I got something. I'm going to make it where he's able to do some of Sonic's abilities. So it's going to be kind of like a blend of Sonic and kind of a blend of Flash and shit, right? So he'll have different abilities. And I didn't get this idea from Anime Junkie. But some of the small concepts will be um, like how he gets an energy bar later on to help him out because he burns through so many calories. Um, I didn't make that up 100%. I would have probably came up with it, but I remember watching Anime Junkies What Ifs. So I kind of stopped. It's counterproductive. It's really weird because with me, if I do make it, it's kind of like me rapping almost, but I don't want to listen to other rappers. It's stupid, but it isn't. Um, I try to not listen to too many people's What Ifs because when I make my content, I want it to be kind of organic, if that makes any sense. I don't want it to be too influenced by other people. Um, don't get me wrong. I'm already taken from uh, my hero. Not really taking it. Just making a what if. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and explain this all day, every day. But I don't know. I just don't like that. So even if I see what ifs or whatever, I'm just kind of like, no, <laughs> I can't look at you because I'll see how here's something. Want to make a video off of it. And I don't know. But if y'all, if what's the words for it? If y'all want me to like look at certain what ifs, I can, but I, I do prefer the way I do it. But if y'all got something different in the comments, because sometimes y'all do say stuff I didn't even think about. But enough with that. Let's get into this, right? So Deku is gonna have the um ability of Sonic and stuff, right? So around the age of four he'll immediately understand that he has this power because he's gonna be trying to run away and he's gonna be trying to get away from Bakugo because Bakugo is bullying him and stuff, right? So how that's gonna work and how that's gonna play out is he's gonna run and he's gonna run really fast and he's gonna be like, oh, so I do have a quirk. And him and Bakugo has a rivalry s type ordeal and stuff right so basically what ends up happening is instead of bakugo bullying him they just become dummy good friends and they're always fighting each other they're always training and stuff and so bakugo's improving and deku was improving so they're just throwing good hands constantly um bakugo's getting Bakugo is still stronger than Deku, but not by like leaps and bounds or like on some Goku and Vegeta type flow. It's more like a Naruto uh, Sasuke S like kind of ordeal. You get what I'm saying? So they're close, but not uh, too uh, close. But Deku still is like smarter and he can analyze things faster. Plus, he does try to figure out ways to compensate for speed because Bakugo is always able to hit harder, but Deku can hit fast. So this way I would justify it by saying Baku, I mean Deku, he would start training, but he would also do physical training too. And as he does more and more training, he does stamina training. He does this type of stuff to work on his speed. He doesn't solely kick, but he also like kicks and do um, other things. With, him, with his incredible speed, He's actually a lot faster, which on my part, um, I probably say on my part two, I'll look up a couple of Sonic's abilities just to make this a little better, like look up on the Wiki, uh, Wikipedia, but maybe I might put it down in the comments or whatever, so that might help me out even more. But I'm gonna look up his abilities just to make sure there's not anything I'm missing. But I'm also gonna add, he can summon coins. 
uh th this is just gonna be a minor one depending on what's gonna happen on part two i might retcon this shit but he also can summon coins and he also is gonna have that golden form but that golden form is not something he likes to use often because it makes him confused uh yeah makes no sense right now but it might make sense later it really just depends on how this whole story plays out but enough with that let's get back into how he's training and stuff so he's kind of speeding around going through the city and stuff as he started running he noticed things started to slow down as he increased his speed so what he ended up doing was he realized it took out a lot of stuff so he started making food bars right this food bar contained all the essentials right but the problem was even when he was fighting bakugo it was dummy hard for him to eat those in the midst of the fight right so he had to figure out a way for him to be able to eat that without stopping the fight right so what he ended up doing was he designed him a special mouthpiece and this mouthpiece allows it well one blocks damage a lot of damage right but it's kind of weird but it also has the food and it could easily be injected by just a simple motion i'm not going to describe what the motion is but it's just like a simple motion you could do and it allows him to eat the food and he's good to go when he's able to keep going it also it's almost like a sensu beam but it doesn't recover your health or anything like that so he's speeding through him a bakugo they're training together and he's he's got that bakugo tries to go for it and uh blows it up he damages it but uh but um bakugo's like oh shit my bad um yeah yeah he, he's not like as malicious as he used to be so it, to deku right now so he's like oh my bad deku i didn't mean to uh, do that to you or whatever right and so he was like, no, 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 it's okay, Ch Kachan, it's not a big deal. I know we were just fighting, it's accident. accident. I, know, I know how you can be. Bakugo's like, what's that supposed to mean? And I don't know what his name would be, but I think he would be like, um, I want to say like a twerp or like a runaway. What would it be? A speeder? Something. It would be something crazy or something, right? And so, I don't know what the insult would be, but anywho, they would be fighting and stuff, and... Deku, after his mask is broken or whatever, he's just like, nah, nah, it's good. It's good. And he puts it back on. But the, what he made the mask out of, I'll just say some really strong material. And it's a, he's able to grab it and pick it up, no problem. Plus, later on, he's going to make it to where he can easily, like, regain it. Because it'll be something latched on to him. And even if it gets latched off, he still has some food and part it. Or food pills, which I'll just start calling sensu beams. He'll still have some of those sensu beams and lodged into his mouth in like a weird angle. But since he regenerates fast, it regenerates. And all he has to do is move his tongue quick enough. Make the tongue move fast enough to vibrate and he's able to grab one no problem, no questions. You get what I'm saying? But all his mouth he does is just store it up. Plus, he's, he, are, he starts early and they start designing... Um, uh, his outfit because he's always having problem with his speed and stuff so he eventually got some special made special specialized design shoes and stuff right and he realized something bakugo is not much better than him but the only problem is all he's been doing was running really fast and pushing him around and just kind of kicking him a, a little bit and hitting him and running around in circles and punching him with all the speed he doesn't actually know how to fight how i always like to do this so what he ends up doing is he says, I got this shit. And he eventually goes and like goes to different martial arts and places and stuff. But since he can learn quickly, right? And he's able to slow stuff down, but on a very minuscule level, he actually just does that shit, right? So when he tells them to teach him everything he needs to know as fast as you can. And he said, are you sure? Yes. So he learns like karate, uh, jutsu, not jutsu, uh, bajutsu, 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 where you're rolling on the ground, damn it. And like all these other fighting styles, but he learned them in record time. I'll probably say, I don't, I don't want to say a whole six months, but I'll probably say like a whole clean six months. So during this whole time period, he's doing all of this from when they were four all the way until they got older. Uh, him, Bako, they didn't do none freaky. They uh, spend, spend nights at um, each other's houses and stuff. And 
that they, they're really just cool homies and shit, right? And so Deku was just kind of like, wait, hey, you know how you do your sweat gristling? Um, how he uh, sweats the stuff out of his hands and all that stuff? He's like, yeah. Have you ever tried doing that anywhere else? He's like, huh? Think about it. Deku stands up. Okay, okay. So what if since you sweat that, right? What instead of just igniting it only in your palms, what if you tried to ignite it anywhere else? And he says, Deku, don't be stupid. Wait a minute. You're right. I, I never thought about that. Yes, yes, I know, Kachan. That's why I said something about it. Don't think you're smarter than shut up. <laughs> Deku has a little more backbone now. Shut up and just listen, my guy. Think about it. You have a really strong, powerful quirk, right? You've never thought about actually learning martial arts or actually learning how to fight. He said, you better shut up before I blow you away. Hell, you can't even fucking touch me. So he's like kind of zooming around the room like, come on. And so he's like, watch, I won't even use my super speed. Come at me. They went outside for this part. You know, Baku goes backyard. He said, come on, try to hit me. I won't even use my super speed or my super sight. It's not really super sight, but his body is able to perceive things a lot better and move accordingly. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Bakugo goes for a move. He grabs Bakugo, flips, boom, grabs him, pretty much has him like in a choke hold, like a unique hold position. See, now if I want to, you'd be dead. You'd be dead. You'd be dead. Kicks him. <sighs> Bakugo tries again. Later on, just some more time passed, you can see the sun rising, birds twerping. You see my point? You can't win. You need to start thinking outside of the box. Our quirks are a part of our body and stuff, right? So we need to treat it as such. It's an extension of ourselves. You think you're just blessed, and since you're blessed with natural talent, that's the only way to be good. Dude, there's even people, like I know there's, there's this one kid that has a half- ice and have fire there's also other people that have like a quirk that creates stuff there's infinite amount of quirks so if you're blessed and someone's better than you based solely off their quirk don't you think that's kind of stupid bakugo just mopes around for a little bit and so after that he's just don't know what he's talking about he runs off pretty much um um Bakugo's parents and stuff was like, thank you. We needed someone to tell him off. We're glad it was you. Y'all are such good friends. He'll get over it. He said, oh, I'm not worried about Kanchan. <laughs> I'm not. That's the last thing I'm worried about. He's throwing a little hissy fit because his pride is hurt. <sighs> he got too much of an ego. And so Deku does his daily billion mile run. Not really that much, but I guess whatever number can be exaggerated. So for a normal human, doing a mile run would be some. So I'd say his daily 20 mile run probably i don't know why i multiplied that times 20 but okay and so he would be doing that or whatever just doing his run getting his good training in. and for you to understand this time period this is like around the time right before the entrance to the um what's it called what's it called entrance to the um school so so as that's going on and all that good jazz or whatever, right? He's um, doing that. Then he sees All Might fighting a sludge-like villain. And he comes in to help All Might. And this Deku, he has much of a backbone, so he's not geeking out nearly as much. But you also got to remember, he knows fighting techniques and stuff, right? So he sees a sludge villain, right? So he tries one of his new moves. He starts running, running. And you can see the blue trail going around him and stuff. And he runs, 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 spins up. Once the uh, sludge villain spins up in the air, he runs, jumps, does like a fancy backflip, starts spinning really, really hard. And as he does that, he starts like bouncing, 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 bouncing all over, um, all over um, the sludge villain or whatever. And then with one final blow, he hits him with one strong move and incapacitates the sludge villain. Basically, with all that force plus all that win, it's kind of similar to like an All Might punch, just not nearly as powerful. And then like he takes down and he comes down and has like a karate stance or like a solid good ass stance. And he's like, all right. Yeah. Woo. And then he's like, All Might's just kind of baffled because All Might was kind of struggling with him. Deku just kind of came in, swooped out of nowhere. But for All Might, that all happened in like... 
five, ten seconds. He was barely able to keep up. But for Deku, that happened for like a couple minutes. But I mean, it was really just him attacking maliciously. Like, I'm attacking now. <laughs> it's like basically when you pull out all the right cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you were sitting there on your turn for five clean minutes. But all those times, you're just sitting there. <laughs> Oh yes, this card allows me to draw two cards. <laughs> now that I've drawn three cards, two more cards, I'm able to play this card that allows me to attack you directly. And since I've attacked you directly, this activates my other card, which since I've attacked you directly, automatically doubles. You know, it's just gonna be an attack fest, right? Just that good old fashioned ass pounding. The hot kind, not the bad kind. So after we've done that type of fuckery and that type of shit, right? We'll get slowly and slowly and more into um how All Might talks to him. He's like, oh, he considers making a majority his successor, so he kind of follows the kid around for a little bit. And he tells All Might, like, yeah, I know you got the little issue or whatever, because he saw it when he was running around and stuff. So he's like, I'm not capping or anything. I just seen it. It's not a big deal. I won't tell nobody. Catch you later. Shoom, runs away. Bakugo misses a couple days of school. Um and yeah so later on bakugo's doing some training and it's hard right because he never thought about putting it out only on his hands which low-key to make it more canon i think he low-key could do this but like i think he was just so used to only doing his hand i mean literally if you are able to explode and make nitro and glycerin come out of any part of your body why did you not consider trying to make it come out of other parts no one thinks his dick please so what I think he would do is he would start opening up his leg pores and stuff, right? And his feet pores. And he would slowly but for surely train. But it would have like, it takes a while for him to do it because he got to open up his pores. His pores got to sweat. So literally, he's just sitting in there in the shower trying to emit um, explosions. Not in the shower, but like getting the steam from, trying to emit explosions from his like legs and his feet and all this type of stuff. And he's like kicking. So he's like stretching and trying to like mimic the kicks and stuff that Deku do does. So he's kind of mimicking that stuff. And he's like slowly but for surely getting it to work. Later on, uh, Bakugo um, and Deku, they decide they need to train up big to get ready to go to UA. So what they end up doing is they end up going off to this little beach or whatever. And they're pulling and tugging and just really trying to get um, um, all the stuff off the island. But while they're doing this, Bakugo's trying to use his new stuff, which that's going to change his costume design. And Deku's using not his costume, but like a costume he made. And we got to remember, he's smart. He's analytical. He's good to go. Um, so that's happening. So we would b basically go ahead and do a little skippy skip to where they would um, basically get down with clean the whole beach. They would do some basic light sparring. All Might would see this and be very impressed with the boys. Pop out of nowhere, but he popped out at the wrong time. Both of them are like driving up in the fight. So Deku goes for one of his little moves where he spins, he spins, he goes for punch. Baku goes going for like one of his like kicks his explosion leg murder death bomb yeah and that hits all my deck in the face on both sides and he gets kind of sent flying it doesn't do much damage it just had a lot of momentum and so then they like oh so sorry so sorry it's okay i shouldn't have done that blah 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 so, long story short, they end up being trained by All Might or trained with All Might for a little bit. And their synergy is a lot better than it was in canon. So, they're doing a whole bunch of fighting. They're doing a whole bunch of training. And they're getting a lot of good good stuff in. And then All Might eventually spills the beans on his whole situation. It's like, I need a successor. And so, they're like, hmm. They both look at each other. They both think each other should get it because, like, Deku's smart and he's analytical and he's able to adapt quickly and move quickly. So his main thing is attacking. So if he can get over that, which he can attack, but one punch doesn't do that much damage. And if someone's super stronger than him, he'll have trouble. But Bakugo is also kind of good at other things too he's pretty good at attacking so if his explosion had more power that would help him overcome the small hurdle that he needs to come overcome to be able to use his explosions on both ends now i was going to probably try to just upload this real quick but since i need to put a poll down i'm going to ask y'all real quick who should get one for all 
Bakugo, Deku, Midoriya. I mean, not Midoriya. M uh, not not um. Th those two or like or uh, other like someone else. I'm not. Or not even someone else. I'm thinking about. All right. So that's gonna end the video. I hope y'all guys 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 enjoy black people.